Hi everyone, you are welcome back to this channel. Today we are going to look at issues trending in Nigeria, especially in Lagos State. The demolition of Igbo properties. For quite some time now, the Igbo properties are being destroyed in Lagos. This is called Infitida, a situation whereby the Lagos State is rebelling against the Igbo properties in Lagos. This is conducted by the governor of Lagos State himself, Mr. Somoulu, and under the instruction of his boss, President Ahmed Tenebu of Nigeria. The government has forcefully evicted homeowners, often without warning or in the middle of the night, and at times in clear disregard for residents' health and safety in order to demolish their homes. It has refused to provide homeowners fair compensation based on the market values of properties, many of which are in highly desirable locations and neighborhoods. The human rights violations are related to the process by which homes and the properties were selected for evictions, demolitions, and lack of effective legal recourse or remedy available to those whose rights were violated. Then we will look at this further, but before we go on, we would like to hear from the people in Lagos what they think about this and how they assess it. After which, we will continue. Nigeria, yeah. Uh, in continuing, we will look at the instrument so that's of the news. Now, what do you have to say as about the demolition of properties of the Igbos yeah, in Lagos? Yeah, yeah. As an Igbo, as an Igbo man, anyway, ask me how and why am I saying this? It is a sign. It is an announcement. It is heraldic to Igbos home going. Igbos, Igbo home going. Igbo man should know that Lagos is not an is not our home. Yet I want to tell you, Igbo man, that Igbo man did not buy the land they bought from you on gunpoint under duress. You deceitfully sold those land, knowing fully well that that place is not marked for sales. That federal Lagos State government will still utilize that place for something. Go to the town planning anytime you are buying your property. Go to Alausa to know if that place is the right place to buy. To buy. That Lagos State government is not going to use that place in the future. Forget Valles. Very, very Forget uh, what do you call them? Omonile. Forget property agents. What they are doing is to sell to you and make money. In the next five years, your building is gone. Mike, let me tell you, an Igbo man that dedicated his house to building this year, this month, at Ablodo, those two houses, two places are gone. An Enugu man that built a mansion, two extra two places at the back, the building is gone. If you doubt me, let's go to Akinwale Street. That's the street there. The, the sister is just crying and shedding tears. See, let me tell you, if you went to buy land, go and ask for the what? planners, planning documents to know which land you can buy and stay there forever. You don't just go and buy land because estate agents, because Ballet told you to buy. Commissioner for uh, Environment and Water Resources. Uh, no. Yeah. 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 Minister yeah. of Environment, yeah. Lagos State. No. MOE. He said it uh, a few days ago that some of these buildings, they were pulled down by the Lagos State government, contravened drainage law. Thank you so much. And yeah. is a way when they are building those buildings. I like people talking nonsense, trying to paint what is bad. Good. MOO, Lagos State Minister, Commissioner for Environment or Minister of Environment, let me tell you. You know that building, those buildings contravene Lagos State law. You allow them to start from foundation to linta. Decking, 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 before furnishing. They put everything in place. You did not tell them. 
Okay, that is not an excuse. I'm never finished with Lagos State. I'm just advising you both. If you want to buy land, go to Ministry of Environment, Lagos State. M-O-E. Make sure the land you are buying is in the right site. On the right side, not a place whereby in four years' time the building is gone. Lagos State would like to build park, whatever they want to do there. See, let me tell you. It is a call for Igbo's homegoing to know that they don't need us in this land. But, but it is a call to tell the Igbo's that our position in Nigeria is not accepted. But the Lagos State government has not told Igbo's to, to, to leave Lagos oh, God, State. This is another sign way of telling Igbo's to leave Lagos State. When we voted and voted, we voted OB, Yoruba voted OB, they lynched us when we wanted to vote for governor chief. They lynched us, telling us to go to our state and vote. That's another call for Igbo man to know that they don't want us. Mike, you see, the worst thing any man can do is to lie against a living man. The living is living. It is only the dead. You can only lie to against the dead because the dead is gone. But when a man is alive, you can't lie against him. I am not here to paint Igbo's gold or paint uh, or, or silver. You heard my statement. See, let me tell you. You started the building. The Lagos State Commission of Environment did not come and stop you. You got to the stage of Linta. They did not stop you. Dekin, they did not stop you. You pay your house, you pack in, they did not stop you. All of a sudden, they started demolition. I got something is attached to it. Absolute abhorrence. Absolute hate of the Igbo race. It is a sign to tell Igbos to remember home. Go home and build an number of states Oba. A new estate has been projected in Oba. Nsuba and the Nkwere is Naka. An number of states. See the estate. If you go to Oba today, you won't know it. They've rushed. Millions. Very expensive land. They are buying and building at Nkwere. They are Nkwere is Naka. They are buying and building at Nsuba. And who's supposed to? do so and when it is supposed to be done. United Nations Human Rights is against evictions and demolition of people's property. The special repertoire on the right to adequate housing is there to help the victims it is stated that forced evictions constitute gross violation of a range of internationally recognized human rights, including human right to adequate housing, security of the persons, freedom from cruel, inhuman and degrading treatment, and freedom of movement. Forced evictions are often linked to the absence of legally secured tenor, which constitutes an essential element of the right to adequate housing. Forced evictions share many consequences, similarly to those resulting from arbitrary displacement, including population transfer, mass expulsions, mass exodus, ethnic cleansing, and other practices involving the coerced and the involuntary displacement of people from their homes and the communities. This gives us to the line of the resolution 1993, of which Nigeria is a signatory. The Commission on Human Rights stated that the practice of forced eviction constitutes gross violation of human rights in particular of the right to adequate housing. But what is the international standard said in relating to the practice of false eviction? Resolution 1998-99 stroke entitled false eviction reaffirms once again that persons have a right to be free from arbitrary or discriminatory eviction, and that every woman, man, and child has the right to a secure place to live in peace and dignity, which includes 
the right not to be evicted arbitrarily or on a discriminatory basis from one's home, land, or community. Then what is the instrument of law? Instrument of international law on this. The use of house, the use of house demolition under international law is today governed by the Fourth Geneva Convention enacted in 1949, which protects non-combatants. Indeed, Lagos State is waging war against the Igbos in Lagos. From what the brother has stated, you find out that there is war against the Igbos in Lagos State for the purpose that they made a choice to vote for the candidates they believed will portray and give adequate leadership in Nigeria. Housing demolition is primarily a military tactic which has been used in many conflicts for a variety of purposes. It is this purpose used for counter insurgents and ethnic cleansing to Lagos State government. They saw the Igbos voting for Obi and building their houses, doing their businesses in Lagos as insurgents against them and what they are doing is to counter it and carrying out ethnic cleansing the tactics has often been extremely controversial it is used in warfare which means Lagos state is waging war against the Igbos, and this is governed by the fourth Geneva Convention and other instruments of international law to combat this. So, when these crimes are committed, they become international crimes and which is treatable at the war crime court, either in Hague, or you make a complaint in Geneva. And this have to be prosecuted. The misuse of house demolition on a number of occasions has been seen as violation of human right. This is all we want to bring to the knowledge of the public, the victims, and the government. Indeed, that demolition of houses intentionally is crime against humanity, is violation of international law and violation of human right. With this, we come to the end of this free program. Thank you. We will come to you once again. We ask you to subscribe, like, share, and leave your comment. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Bye.